Hello and welcome to a new video about Privacy Idea. This is a short video about installing Privacy Idea on a fresh and naked Ubuntu 14.04 Trusty. Okay, um, I will install Privacy Idea from a PPA repository which makes it quite simple. It only leaves me to type in a few commands and so let's start. First, we need to add the repository to the system. We do it by with the command add apt repository. The repository is named privacy idea, or it's of the user privacy idea, and the repository itself is named privacy idea. Now we need to um, update the package list. And now we can see that we know some privacy idea packages. There are several different packages. The main package is down Python privacy idea. This is the package that contains the code. But there are also some meta packages, privacy idea um, nginx and privacy idea apache 2, which install all necessary components to either run privacy idea in an Apache web server or in an Nginx web server. I choose to install privacy idea in an Apache web server. Well, Apache. And this will install the base package, it will install the MySQL server, it will install the Apache, and it will configure the database in the MySQL server and it will configure the Apache to run privacy idea. This is a menu of the MySQL server. We need to enter a root password for the MySQL server. This is the IP address of the system. At the moment you can see that there's no website available on the system. Now the database is created, the keys are created, a self-signed certificate for the Apache web server is created, and everything is set up, and we will be up and running immediately. Now we are done. Congratulations, we installed successfully a privacy idea system on a fresh Ubuntu 14.04. Now we can see that there is a website with a self-signed certificate and this is the login page of Privacy Idea. Well, but at the moment, hmm, we don't know how to log in. 
of course we need to add administrators. We can do this as the root user on the system using the command pi manage. pi manage uh, gives you the possibility to manage the base system. The interesting subcommand is um, the admin command which we can use to add a new administrator with a name and an email address which is not used at the moment. We specify a password and then we can see that there is an administrator in the system. We, uh, you can use, uh, you can add as many administrators as you like, you can delete the administrators, you can change their passwords. Now the administrator is able to log into the system and now you can start to configure the system, create new connections to new user stores and enroll tokens to the users. All this in the next videos. Thanks for watching.